Hey, it's Brigzar. Welcome to another LEGO haul. And this time we are going to do three packages. I normally have been trying to do one at a time, but all three of these packages are related, even though they are from three different sellers. They are all BrickLink orders, and we thank Carl for, br for bringing them to us. Instead of his normal truck, he had to bring these in on a train. This is a big box we got here. So we're excited to get to this. Thank you, Carl. You're welcome, sir. Don't call me sir, Carl. I should be calling you sir, Carl. All right, so that was Carl, the mailman Malone. That was Brigzar. So anyway, got three packages. And before we open these, I just want to say, uh, don't forget, I uh, have the contest or the giveaway going on my alternate channel, Brigzar's Basement and Beyond. It's for non-Lego items, but I just thought I'd mention that here. So you can go check that out. It's the most recent video. And that's if you're watching this in February of 2015. And uh, don't forget also the video I posted earlier about my reviews. The items that are in this set, if you have any ideas about them. What I could bring out about those. What might be funny about them. Be sure to leave those in the comment section of this video. And I'll get a more organized way of doing that in the future. So check that video out if you want to know what I'm talking about. So let's get to it. We'll start with the smallest one yet. And as you know by the title, this is a space shuttle haul. So what kind of space shuttle <laughs> could we have in this box? Or this package. Not a box. This is a padded envelope. And we will open it up. All right. This is a BrickLink order. I'll try to remember to put in the description the names of the sellers and all. It's not on this one, and I didn't look it up beforehand. But uh, he put everything in these little sealed things here. All right, first of all, anybody know who that is? <laughs> That's Boots. That's from Dora. That's a Duplo figure. I hope that's a Duplo, and hope he didn't mix it up. Sometimes people... I don't remember what Boots looks like. And there were Mega Blocks that were made. You know what a... This... Huh. Gotta look that up. Alright, this is what I got. First of all, we got this little dinosaur. And then we got this little tiny space shuttle. Alright, so I just had to make sure <laughs> that is a Lego piece. Uh, with the, sometimes when there's things that Mega Blocks made in Lego, sometimes people get them mixed up. But, um, that is clearly a Lego item, but that is the little space shuttle. That's the main thing we went to the store to get. And then this really isn't worth what I paid for it because it's just, it's sealed, but it's got that head print. I, I never I didn't bother to check to see if it's exclusive to this or not. It's probably not. I probably could have just bought that separately and made it, but I got the bag. It's not as part of one of those calendar sets. So next we'll do this medium sized box. I feel like uh, this is kind of like the story of Goldilocks or something. The, Little chair, the big chair, in the medium chair. So let's find out what's in this. Like I said, all three of these are going to be related. Uh, first of all, we got another Galador Happy Meal toy. Very scary. And then we got a gesture keychain. Did not have the keychain version of the Jester, so I got that. I'll add that to my Jester collection, which just so happens it's handy nearby. <laughs> I haven't had anything to update on it since the last time I did an update on it, so here's my update of my Jester collection. I still got several more to get. I'm just trying to get all the different varieties of Jesters that Lego has made. All right, and here's the other one. What set is that? Quick, do you know? Well, it's obviously a space shuttle, because that's what I said it was, a space shuttle haul. And it is this one, the 6544. 
Actually, last haul I had ordered the instructions because I was thinking about maybe piecing this together, but then I found a good deal from another BrickLink seller. So I went ahead and bought this. So hopefully it'll be complete. I think he said it was complete. But it's the shuttle that's being transported on the airplane. So that will be very cool. And I know they might be bricks will be happy to build that. So let's go to the next box. It's the big box. And this is actually from a very good BrickLink seller. Somebody I know. This is Andy from from Brick Fair. Um, it's, it's funny. Sometimes I end up in his store. I'll be looking for something and I'm in his store and I'll forget that it's him. <laughs> and uh, even though this was higher, the price was higher than some of the other sellers, I know what I'm getting when I buy from um, Murphy's Dog. I forget what he calls his store. That's why I always forget it's him. His dog's his store is named after his dog, not his dog named after his store. But, all right, I think you got everything in this one box here. It's Lego. Let me move this box out of the way. Woohoo! All right, and why I say this is a good store to buy from is because. Uh, he rarely makes a mistake, and he usually um, is pretty thorough about making sure everything's correct, so I think it's worth it. And he made sure that it was well packed. And another thing that's beneficial for me is you don't really live too far away, <laughs> so it doesn't usually cost much to ship. Getting it out of this Lego store bag. And what he did here, this is, um, you can do this with a garbage bag or recycle a Lego bag like this. And it's actually a good idea to do if you're selling a, um, a boxed set or a sealed set, especially uh, because um, if you've ever seen Bricks for Chris, he had packages that got left out in the rain. And if you have it wrapped up, it's less likely to get damp. Even in a bag, the moisture could eventually get in there if it's set in the rain too long, but it's a lot less likely to. But here it is, the great big Technic Space Shuttle. Let you get a look at that because there are some other things on the inside of the box. All right, we got the tractor set. which is pretty cool. We got the ice ramps. And this is something, somebody sent me a picture on Instagram about a piece they found. And they didn't know what set it went to. Or they had some pieces. It was some pieces. And I got to looking at the pieces and I think it might have been one of these base plates here and they were only in a couple of sets. So I was able to quickly determine um, what it was, and actually the piece that they were interested in, I think, was one of these head pieces here, something like that, or body part to that. So that, and then when I was in Andy's store to get the space shuttle, I said I'll go ahead and get this ice ramp racer set. It's kind of a weird Zalax set or whatever they call it. And then did I already show you the tractor? <laughs> All right. So and then the rest of this stuff. It looks like to be the space shuttle parts. And what does he have in here? Oh yeah, he's got all... See, he put, he put all the um, little pamphlets that came with it in here. And I, this is something I bought separate. It's the... Um, this is one of the little booklets that went with the Discovery sets. And I don't have all the Discovery sets. We're working on getting them. I did have them. I sold them all. Uh, years ago, and then, um, man, these are in excellent condition, these instruction manuals. There's the tractor, and there's the uh, racer set. I think it was under Zalax or something, some weird name like that. But that's what that looks like. And then I think the other bag here is the instructions for the um, space shuttle. Yeah, that's what this is. 
Oh, and he threw in some extra things. He said he wasn't happy with um, one of the stickers. And so he sent me another one of these pieces that went to the uh, Lego yellow truck that we reviewed. And these are some more things I ordered. The uh, vintage headlights and some wires. I've been getting more of these wires in case I want to do some kind of ball contraption thing. So that is my home. I'm pretty happy about this. I know they might be bricks is going to be happy about these space shuttles. Uh, well, I can't lay it up. I'll just leave it down like that. And there's the space shuttle. Never did take the tractor out of the thing, but you can see saw what it looked like. So what do you think of this haul? Do you like it? And you can let me know in the comments below. And any of these things that I'm going to review, and it may take a while to get to the reviews between building them and editing videos. Um, I'm no longer going to worry about how quickly I get things out, but I want to have input from the viewers. So, if you have something funny that you can interject um, about this tractor, you know, how, how will we use it, uh, why is it built the way it is, you know, what is this guy on the space shuttle doing, what kind of problems might they run into, what on earth is this green thing, um, why is all these things this color? I don't know. Come up with something. There's boots. I don't know. What can you possibly say about these? So, anything that you can think of, I will try to incorporate different comments, suggestions, criticisms, or scenarios, things like that. And I've already got some really good ideas from the video we did earlier, so keep them coming. And we'll eventually get to these. I know the space shuttles are going to be built. In fact, they might be bricks. May be building this space shuttle here today. And then we got all this other stuff on the table, ready to be reviewed. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching this long haul. Even though it wasn't a lot of stuff, I guess I talked too much. That's okay. I love this stuff. I hope you do too. Catch you in the next video. It's Brickzar. to see an animated build of a set go watch mad about lego uh, they may not do every set that comes out but if you enjoy watching anime